most famous people in the world are talking about her. She has lit up social media. Back in August at Nationals, after she landed her two historic new skills on floor and beam, Michelle Obama raved about the feats on Instagram. This week, it was LeBron James expressing his amazement, tweeting, Simone, you are flat out incredible. But perhaps the best and most meaningful reactions have come from those who are closest to Simone. Her boyfriend back home, Stacey Irvins, couldn't contain himself watching her all-around performance on TV. And I checked in with Simone's dad here in Germany, and yes, Ron still counts on all those hit routines to get a kiss from Simone's mom, Nellie. So in addition to all that other pressure, Simone still has to play Cupid as well. Oh, so much pressure. You don't want them to go with, without the kiss. Simone being introduced here. Down. Second to qualify was Jade Carey, who had the top qualifying score for the women vault early in the week. Ellie Downey will kick it off. Then Simone Chitsi from China. Yo So Jung from Korea. Shawn Olsen, collegiate career in the States. Alexa Moreno, we saw her in Rio. Leah Akimova from Russia saw her in the team event earlier. And Jade Carey will round it out. So, you would expect big things from Simone Biles here. Um, but it was Jade Carey who qualified first. All right, here's Ellie Downey from Great Britain, first to go. Very nicely done. So not as difficult of a vault that we will see from both Simone and Jade here in a little bit, but beautiful form in the air. She had a really rough competition in the qualification. Was very out of character for her, but excellent form. And she actually, this is a nice vault, double twisting Yurchenko. She actually is going to do a much more difficult vault. You see that one right there has a 5.4 maximum score, 15.4. This vault is going to be worth a 16.0. She did it in qualification. She said it was the first time she ever did it in a big meet on the hard ground. Sister Becky competing this week, the older of the two, the leader of the team, and Great Britain, one of the women's teams to qualify the Tokyo Olympics at these World Championships. So because they do two vaults, they obviously take the two scores, add them together, and they come up with the average. This is called a chung. It's what we'll see Simone and Jay do for their first vaults. Oh, and that was really, really good. That might be podium good. The biggest thing she has going against her is her first vault has a much lower start value, but this, look at the form. Beautiful. And a great landing position, one hop backwards. Wow. This should get a very big number, 15 plus. Amazing. Beautiful form, looking at the ground right there. Just a small little so slide back. <laughs> Her sister, older sister, Becky, says that Ellie's best talent is she's able to switch to competition mode almost instantly. Look at ball two. 15.033, I, I would have gone a little higher. You see that 9-2 execution? I don't know. I'd have been at least 9-3, I think. So now, Simone Biles gets her chance. 22 world medals overall. Tally Sherbo, 23. Already the most decorated female gymnast at the World Championships. She can become the overall most decorated. And she absolutely will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same vault we just saw. Just got to hit the landing. Pretty good, was kind of close to that line. If one of those heels, her right heel was over the line, that'll be an additional one-tenth of a point. 
So let's take a look at her landing specifically, making sure she doesn't go over that line. And I would say no, right? I would agree. A little bit more rotation was kind of high on the table. But it doesn't matter if you're Simone Biles. You can do a lot of things wrong and still fly high. The thing about her, everybody says she's powerful. It's not just that. Her technique is impeccable. 16 gold medals at the World Championships. One of those on vault, and that was last year. She won it for the first time at Worlds last year. But obviously, she's a perfectionist. <laughs> so, you know, after that first fault, maybe not necessarily seeing the huge smile that we always do, because she knows she can do better, but great score. But 15.13. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they got it right there. I mean, Ellie was really clean, but Simone's vaulting is just next level. This is called an Aminar. Round off onto the board, two and a half twist, off. Oh! oh. And Terry, I hate to oh, do oh, this. Go ahead, But my man. there is another gold medal for Simone Biles. That's basically unbeatable at this point. Wow. Wow. I think the best that we have really ever seen her do this vault here in competition. <laughs> oh. So and there's that smile. <laughs> there, there still is a 10 in gymnastics. It's the execution that starts out of a 10. So I'm saying that this should not be any less than a 9-8 execution score. They're probably going to give it 9-6, 9-7, but... In the qualifying, that same vault, she got a 9.533. This one, much better. Way better, yeah. I agree, Nastia. She had the smile before <laughs> she landed, I think. She knew. Just makes it look effortless. Poor Vitaly Sherbo. You can hold on to that <laughs> co-title for... 15, 4, okay, 6, and that, 6. I'm sorry, but that is Nine, not right. Execution score. 9.333. Not right, not right at all, ladies. It, uh, I mean, she's gonna end up being ranked at the top, but. 15.399 is that number now, and go ahead and follow that. GG from China, 16 years old, eighth in the qualifying. She said qualifying last gives her no pressure whatsoever. Just go out and do the best she can. She is a very bright spot for the Chinese team, historically have been very weak on vaulting and floor exercise. Those are the two events that she excels. And, and just comparing, obviously it's so difficult to go right after Simone, but she just doesn't quite explode off of the horse like Simone does. Doesn't have the power, the rotation, and, and lower level difficulty as well, but right. still very impressive. As you mentioned, they haven't always been great the last few years on this event. I'm sorry, but I would say Simone probably was three feet higher yeah. in the air than that. Great ball for her, though. First season on the senior level. They won the all-around at the Asian Junior Championships just a year ago, 2018. That's the number. So take a look at that execution score, 9.2. I'm not saying by any means was it not clean because it really was, but it just, to me, you cannot compare that to the vault that we just saw Simone do. A tenth of a point. No, yeah, that, no that, way. If that's a 9.2, like I said, Simone's is a 9.7. I don't know what they're thinking. Nice ball, slightly higher maximum scoring potential. But once again, you know, just not quite the amplitude. But you know, really trying to gain a little bit of props back for Team China. They, you know, severely underperformed in the team championships, finishing off the podium. It went, obviously, the U.S., Russia was second, and Italy, shockingly, for a lot of people, not for me, ended up third with just four brand-new senior gymnasts. 
That was one of the moment of the championships when they realized that they were going, or yeah. that they had medaled, I should say. Absolutely. Simone waits <laughs> around. She's really become that figure in this sport, hasn't she, for every young gymnast? She really has, and, and not just every young gymnast around the world, but even here, her competitors, everyone just stops and stares and, and watches. Like right now. Yeah. <laughs> 14-7, so 14.650 into third overall. Yeah, I don't know what they did with Simone's second vault execution score because we look at that and it's just not right. You know, you're saying that Simone is like the idol of all these young athletes. She should be not just the idol of young gymnasts. She should be the idol of athletes, men and women all over the world. She is. Yoso Jung, the 17-year-old from Seoul, South Korea. Last year, her first trip to the World Championships. She came in fifth on vault. That's where she qualified. I believe she's going to do her own vault right here. Super difficult. Handspring double twist. Oh, boy. That's a shame. She has successfully performed that at a major competition, so it does bear her name in the rule book. Really hard vault. We see one and a halfs, but we have never seen in competition that double full forwards on the ladies' side of the sport. Korean gymnastic sensation fifth in the final last year. Yeah, just didn't quite get that rotation. Her shoulders needed to come over a little bit more. Yeah, it's a shame she comes from a gymnastics family. Her dad, Olympic medalist for South Korea on vaulting as well. Her mom part of a bronze medal winning team at the Asian Games back in 1994. Hey, back to the numbers. Did they leave room enough for Jade Carey to think she has a chance? Well, actually, you know, the way they've gone since Simone, the execution scores have been much higher. So if Jade were to really rock the landings, then it, it's possible. But Jade doesn't have the same level of cleanliness that we see from Simone. Simone flies a little higher. They do the exact same two vaults, but Jade is not as clean. But she did get a 9-3 on both of those vaults in the qualifying round of competition, so it will be interesting. Very nice comeback there. Double twisting Yachenko. That's really upsetting because Absolutely, she had a good shot if she had landed that first vault to be on the podium. This one has a maximum score of 15.4. That first one, I believe, has a value of 16.2, higher than anybody. You know, we're always talking about Simone Terry, but you also have to remember, at the last World Championship, she unveiled a new vault, <laughs> yep. the Biles there, which is four tenths more than what she did here. She doesn't even need to do it to win. That's how, That's how much good she is. further yeah. ahead, yeah. So this was clean vault, but Simone's was cleaner, right, Nastia? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. There's the number, 14-4-3-3, and overall 14.183 into fourth place. Biles Downey and Chi Chi from China, the top three right now. Remember, Jade carried the last of the eight to go. So it's Shallon Olsen, the 19-year-old from Vancouver, British Columbia, who will be next. And now a sophomore at the University of Alabama. As you see that number for the leader, Simone sits and waits. She was runner-up to Simone last year Silver on medal. vault, silver medal. She'll do that Chang vault, half turn on. Nope, actually going in a different order. And that is once again where Someone like Simone and Jade have the advantage because they're starting four tenths higher overall. 
but a great vault. So just a double fall seemed to be a little bit high on the horse, didn't quite get the block she needed to really explode off of the horse. She is capable of doing the extra half turn. I've seen her compete it before. Has said it was really hard getting ready for the trials process to make the Canadian team. She has been doing, in the college gymnastics, they do less difficulty. And she said it was really much harder this time than last Worlds to get back to that elite level. Canada, by the way, has qualified for the Olympics in Tokyo next year. See that execution. You know, uh, wow. again, not to take away from any of these athletes because they are doing great vaults, but I just still cannot get over Simone's I, execution I, score. It, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's, it's mind-blowing. I mean, mind-blowing. Here's the more difficult vault that Cheng half turn onto the board, half turn to the table, laid out front somersault with one and a half twists. Sometimes she doesn't get the half turn completed onto the table. Maybe a little better there, though. A little better that landing, and we'll see. I'm sure just a tad bit piked down, a little bit soft knees in the air. So take a look at when she's landing, at her hip position. Right about here, you see really piked, the knees are bent. And watch the half turn onto the table. Is she all the way facing forward? She's not, and the judges should note that. Going back to these execution scores, once again, that are out of a 10, the judges, I think they really boxed themselves in with Simone Biles getting such a, a low execution score, especially on her second vault. Which was pretty much near perfection. I'm not sure I've ever seen her in competition lately <laughs> do it as well as she did. Love to see him slow it down and point out that, where they took. I was they just took, gonna say that. Let's, right? let's sit down with them and, and ask what they saw or if they yeah. still think that they got it right. Well, she, sc she has scored many times, 9-6, 9-7 execution, and... Uh, well, again, in the qualifying round, she got a 9.533, and it was so much better here. So I, I really don't understand. 14-8-6-6 oh, wow. and an execution score of 9.2. That mark, 14-7-3-3 into third place. So right now in podium position. Well, I hate to say this, but I said that they were differentiating the men extremely well on floor, and they are just putting everybody together on vaulting. Alexa Moreno who made history for Mexico last year at the World Championships. She became the first woman from her country to win a world or Olympic medal and a third place finish on vault. Big vault. Oh, too bad. Very powerful vaulter. A laid out Rudy. She took two big steps. And also, I think, probably went outside that line, so we'll get deduction for that. Every time I see her, though, she gets a little bit better on vaulting, has a little more power. It's really great to see. Yeah, yep. see her step out of the line. Just crushes that vaulting table to get the height post table. Got to know her in Rio when she competed there and then went on to become a part of an anti-bullying campaign in 2017 to support other women. She said she had been the victim of that and really important work that she has done, helped do. Good for her. 14.466. Second one to come.
So in vaulting, you have to do two different types of vaults. She went straight forward onto the vaulting table, a handspring. She'll do a quarter turn or half turn onto the table for this. That was great. Really nice. You know, she's going back to that first ball, hoping that she could just take a few steps back. Qualified in in third place, had the potential to be on the podium here. Yeah, without question. Pretty good form from the board to the table. Very upright, just kind of a shimmy on the landing, but. Like I said, every year, a little bit better in my view, a little bit more power. Definitely has a split of her legs three quarters of the way through that fall. And that's who she came in behind on vault last year, Simone Biles and Shallon Olson. Yeah, that's funny, they were all sitting uh -huh. there like that back from injuries too and recent injuries head and foot injuries at the Mexican National Championships caused her to miss the Pan Am games 14.8 to 14.633 the overall average into fifth place Alexa Moreno from Mexico down to the final two first of the two the 22 year old from Russia part of that powerful team Lilia Akimova Qualified seven on vault. She'll do the exact same vault that we just saw. Laid out one and a half. Yeah, it was good, but again, that landing, huge step back. But I think they're only going to count that as one, though. One step. Certainly could keep her body a little bit straighter throughout and Nasia, you and just right from the from the table take a look at her legs right there Of course the judges are sitting on the side, so they don't get to see that angle It's always a good point uh, Because we take it for granted because we are watching it from a different angle. Yeah, they are exactly right on the side and You see that happen on uneven bars on vault and you cannot see it at all from the side I think they should still try to keep their legs together, though, <laughs> personally. 14-7. <laughs> You're shaking your head. I, I'm just not going to keep saying Execution. to go back to, yeah, Simone's ball, but it's just seeing gymnast after gymnast go and the way that they are scoring their execution just doesn't quite make sense to me. Well, it bodes well for Jade Carey. <laughs> yeah. They gave Simone that low score. I thought everybody else would be way downgraded. Double twist, Sukahara. Big step, couple more after that, and then definitely out of bound with at least one foot. of them so if one foot goes over the line it's a tenth of a point two go over the line it is three it looks to me like she did a kind of a who is 22nd in the women's all around Downey Olsen, the top three right now. With Jade Carey of the U.S. still to come. 14 3 into sixth place. So we're learning that potentially we had misread, I guess, Simone's execution score on her second vault. So we'll take a look. So it might have been that our graphic wasn't correct. And if that's the case, yes. then that would be great. 
taking the host broadcasters pictures or images so we're at the mercy of those down to the final gymnast here on vault jade carey the 19 year old from phoenix arizona who qualified first same same two vaults as we saw from simone the chung first Very good. And that was a great vault. Huge power, that just that hot back. And, and we are, we'll go back to this score, but we are learning that the graphic was wrong on our screen here. We read something like 9.3. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It appears it's actually a 9.666. So which was a lot better. It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> we apologize for the ranting and raving and women's judges. Uh, <laughs> I am so very sorry. <laughs> but you're looking at the world silver medalist on vault back in 2017 who's trying to take a different route. Still wants to be a part of the American team, but trying to earn a spot at the Olympics through the Apparatus World Cup Series, Jade Carey. And this is that Aminar vault. She is really a powerful gymnast sometimes has a bit of a problem controlling her power at the end of this she puts this to her feet with a good solid landing i think she will squeak by ellie downey get on the podium in the second position was a very good vault still cleaner than a lot of them we've seen her do really seems like she kind of tried to go for the stick a better landing than she has done two and a half twist and she takes one step look she puts that foot down and then brings it back together there's a veteran right there but and that's so critical because, nope, actually both feet out of bounds. So she has a minimum three-tenths step, three-tenths for out of bounds. They're going to find a handful of other deductions. Teammates side by side, but right now it's Simone Biles, Ellie Downey, and Shallon Olsen, the top three. And this is her last medal opportunity as she did not qualify for floor. 14-8-8-3, the overall number in the second place, right behind Simone Biles. But add another gold to the collection for Simone Biles. Well deserved. And well deserved for that. You know, I mean, Ellie did, you know, some great vaults, but like I said over and over again, Jade came to the table four tenths higher in potential scoring. And most importantly, she allowed for the kiss. <laughs> Celebratory kiss. Biles, the gold medal here. Number 23 in terms of medals at the World Championships overall. Jade Carey, the silver medal. And Ellie Downey from Great Britain ends up with the bronze. Big day for Ellie Downey, too. Without question, coming back after having such a rough qualifying competition. She was so distraught. So, a lot more still to come, but just think about what we just saw. Spectacular once again. Simone Biles, another win. Second gold medal on vault, back-to-back -back years at the World Championships as we continue from Stuttgart. On the World Vault podium, can you describe what this moment is like for you to do this again? Yeah, this moment is really special for me. I, it's everything that I work for, and... This year, I'm especially proud because I've been working hard to get my vaults back since I got hurt last year. So I'm really happy for myself. You were the last one to go, and on that last vault, what was going through your mind on that landing? Were you a little worried about the podium? Yeah, I scared myself pretty bad, um, but I'm happy that I was able to just stay on my feet and make it happen. All right, 
Congratulations. Thank you. Terry? Thanks, Andrea. Well done. And uh, an opportunity to compete in a final and coming through with another medal at the World. Simone Biles, the only gold medal she does not have is on this event. Her maximum starting score is a 16.2. And really, she needs to hit all of those handstands. That is what they are going to be looking for right there. That's a good one. She'll do a 360 perfect right there. And right down to the low bar. Every single handstand. If she wants to max out that E score, and of course, you got to have a hard dismount. She's got the hardest one being done, and you got to be able to not move at all. That was... Just about as close to a stick as you can get, but I think they would have taken a tenth on it. So you look at the numbers this week for Simone Miles on this event, 14-7, 14-6, 14-7, 3-3, and the top three qualifiers had 15 or higher. They did. You know, for a long time, Simone really disliked doing the uneven bars, didn't even want to compete on them. She actually said to me at one point in time she wanted to take a chainsaw to the set in her gym. <laughs> but let's also not forget she is a world medalist oh, yes, on she is. this event. The field may be just a little bit stronger this year, those top three athletes. And also in this, Suni Lee, the 16-year-old from St. Paul, Minnesota. Take you back to her week. And, and this was just phenomenal. From the very start, she just flies so high. And what's really important for her is to connect these four elements in a row. She sometimes breaks them apart. We'll, of course, get more bonus if she does connect the four. She was fabulous on this routine. A little bit over past the handstand on that, but... And this is another area she can improve on does not completely stick. It's the smallest little hop, but it's a tenth of a point they take. But right here in the all-around final, struggled right on this element. Take a look at her hands. So look, her right hand stays on the bar a little longer, that left hand letting go, which forced her to kind of be a little crooked. Wasn't able to recover there, huge. Oh, See if she can recover and have a great showing here in the event finals. It's the uneven bars for the women on tap next as we continue from Stuttgart. They always ask the athletes to do a goofy pose. Hers is never goofy. It, even that looks good. She's professional. I know. <laughs> It has been funny, though, all week long to kind of see everyone's personality come out a little bit here on the big screen. Saw Ellie Downey earlier and Becky Downey, the 27 year old, who's really a leader of that team. And Suni Lee, teenager, first year on the senior level. Spectacular at the U.S. National Championships and now international. Elizabeth Seitz. Big cheer throughout the week, obviously for the German athletes. And they've all talked about how special it's been to have the Worlds here. Angelina Melnikova, part of that silver medal team. The world. Watching Liu Ting Ting from China. Some mistakes late oh, yeah, that were really costly. Especially in the team finals, she had two huge mistakes, fell off the bar twice on the same element, so it would be nice for her to have a little recovery there. Daria Spiridonova from Russia, who watched her husband earlier today. I'm not sure she watched. She paid attention to Keita Dugarni. And Nita Dur Durwile, who's the reigning champ on uneven bars. Here's the way they will go. The order, Miles, Downey, and Suni Lee. So the Americans, two of the first three. Zeitz, Melnikova, Liu, Spiridonova, and Durwal, who was the number one qualifier, too. She will be last to go. And it is Simone Miles who will kick things off here in the uneven bars, the only gold medal that she has not won at the World Championships overall with medals. Now tied for the Our most, male or female, with 23. But she's got Simone two pretty good events tomorrow. <laughs> I think she's going to get there. 
Yep, Both. it's not today, certainly tomorrow. And let's look for those handstands. First one right there, pretty good. So far so good, and here's another test right here, 360, great. Back down to the low, very nice. Big release right here up to the high bar. And then that big double-double. Looking for the stick right here. No movement at all is what she wants. Well, there you go. And I would say that was it. <laughs> Pretty much the best that she could possibly do. And she's kind of saying, take that the rest of the field. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> you obviously marvel at you know her physical prowess and what she is capable of doing all the titles but the other thing that she is really head and shoulders above everybody else on is the mental component the toughness that she has in every situation that big release up to the high bar lots of full twisting doubles we'll see in this competition. But in these finals, the only one that'll add another full twist. Look at the height. And right here, Gymnastics 101, fly high and stick the landing. Is that two today? <laughs> I don't know, I don't think so. No, one, is that it? Yeah, I think so. But it's the truth. So Simone saying, let me go ahead and kick this thing off the right way and just try to catch me. That really was what she said. I'm going to go first. It's not going to affect me. Probably relieved to be done right about now until tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and you got to remember once again that she has been competing nonstop. The only gymnast, male or female, to compete every single day of the competition, making all individual event finals. How about the number 14.7? And just about where she has been placing or, or scoring the rest of the week in the qualifying round, as we saw earlier, 14.733. So, so really right around there. So we saw Ellie Downey earlier today with a bronze medal on vault. Becky Downey, her older sister, would love to add to that total. And where some of these athletes have the advantage over Simone is in that difficulty score. So Simone's was the maximum score, 16.2. We'll see all the way up to a 16.5 from Nina later. She had a 16.3 in the qualifications. Has to connect a whole bunch of skills. Really tricky stuff. Nicely done in great combo. Oh, it just that tiny little shuffle back on that dismount, but wow, what a fabulous routine. That was really something special right there. Has worked so incredibly hard, and you just see the emotion right there. Her ninth world championships, her first, were in Stuttgart in 2007, and she said, this might be it right here. Just so many things done in combination. Beautiful release, does a half turn at the end of it, and then kind of unwinds to that low bar and connecting off of that skill so challenging as we mentioned Simone doing a double twisting double back just a full twisting double back here but gosh that routine <laughs> a little more oomph on the inside of the routine though that was great Scored a 14.8 in the qualifying. <laughs> Those are not sadness tears. Tears of 
relief and happiness. Battling back, both she and her younger sister, so many injuries they've been dealing with, rehabbing together. Should definitely be a higher score than what we just saw from Simone, I would say. Number 14.7 for Simone, and even 15, it is higher for Becky Downey of Great Britain. Wow, and, and, and the difficulty score you see, she actually raised it by two tenths here in the final. As we saw in the pommel horse, in these event finals, you have to go all out, no holding back. You have a more difficult routine, you better do it. So here is the teenager from Minnesota, Suni Lee, who made her senior debut earlier this year. She won the title on uneven bars at the U.S. National Championship. She qualified here in third. She has four releases in a row. The second one was where she struggled in the all-around finals. But this one right here, look how fly she hot, how high she flies. Another big one, transition down to the Beautiful. low bar. Good handstands thus far as well. And this one's gonna be really critical to land on top of the bar, it's very short, unfortunately. At least three tenths. That one, great. Just the dismount. Well, it was very good. Very, very good. But it's a packed field. And you know, we're obviously being super critical and that's, that's just the way that the judges are gonna be. Those handstands are so important. But look how high she goes above oh. the bar and those hips completely open right back down to the low bar, immediately back up. <laughs> and this skill of a hard wash, full twisting pack salto, just great stuff. And here's that one and a half turn. So you see where she catches the bar is just extremely low. Certainly three tenths, maybe even five. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I've been questioning why she's doing that. It's awesome to see, I love it. But just the risk reward, I don't know if it's worth it. One of six kids in the family, a junior in high school, thoughts no doubt of her dad recovering from a serious injury back home and watching every minute of this. Awesome of her other Team USA coaches and staff cheering her on there in the stands. She had a hard time recovering. I spoke with the national team coordinator, high performance coordinator, Tom Forrester, said she was really upset. So 14.8 and into second place ahead of Simone Biles. And it's Becky Downey who still leads from Great Britain. There is the number that they'll be going after. Elizabeth Seitz from Germany, as if you couldn't tell by the rise in the crowd and the noise here. The 25-year-old from Heidelberg and the world bronze medalist on uneven bars in 2018. Had a great competition in the all-around. She was actually sixth, which was very big accomplishment for her. Another release. Good recovery there. A little struggle on that handstand before. Oh, oh boy. And that's a shame. Did you see something coming there? Because I, I didn't in the release before. I don't know. Just well, the release held on before. a little too long yeah, exactly. on the second one. Oh, what a great routine before and after, but unfortunately that's gonna do it. She 
started the sport because her older brother was in it. She gave it a try. She said, I immediately knew that it would be my sport. This was my place. Nine times to the world championships, and you mentioned the all-around finish. It was her best ever. Really just kind of looked like she held on to the bar for a little bit too long. Yeah, because that release looks great. Looks great, absolutely. Because she holds on longer, she's too far away from the low bar. And it was smart that she bent her legs because she would have hit her toes on that high bar because she was too close. But good recovery. Full twisting, double back. And you just still see that that emotion from Becky <laughs> as each gymnast goes. Yeah, well, that's one more. Exactly. <laughs> so into fourth, 13-5-6-6. No margin for error, and you get to the final. And four more athletes Our left. Angelina Melnikova from Russia, the 19-year-old who qualified eighth, but really successful week not only a part of that team silver but also an individual medal for the first time she won the bronze medal in the all-around she has been chasing that individual medal for so long was so ecstatic beautiful right to a handstand so risky but that's exactly what the judges are looking for beautiful combination and watch how she puts her feet in between her hands that gives her some extra points. Makes it more difficult. A little short on that handstand. I was just about to say every handstand has been great, but that was the best bar routine I think maybe I've seen her do here in Germany. Qualified in, as you said, Terry, in eighth place with a 14.7. Suni Lee currently in second with a 14.8. Yeah, it's going to be very close, very tight. See those inside stalters into a release? Don't think it's going to be better to Becky. I think Becky will still stay on top given that difficulty score was a little higher than what Angelina has. Yeah, I would hope so. It, um, this is a great exercise, but we're talking the best in the world, and Becky's was better than this, my book. Little bit shy from that handstand. Does it in combination, though, with her dismount, so that adds to her difficulty score or maximum score. from Becky Downey appreciative the applause but not worried <laughs> I, I don't think she should be worried but it, I, I don't know who knows yeah I don't think she's I don't think she's worried they, they can't give that a higher score 14 7 3 3 so behind Suni Lee who holds on to that second spot and it's Becky Downey who still will remain seated in that area to wait as the leader So we've talked about this quite a lot <laughs> this week, both in the parallel bars for the men, the uneven bars for the women, but every gymnast prefers the bar a certain way. You see the Chinese athletes don't really wear the same kind of grips that a lot of the American gymnasts wear, more of some tape grips is what you call it. So a little stick, maybe a little honey that they add. But she had a disaster. And you know, in my opinion, sorry, Tim, in my opinion, I really don't think it was nerves. Um, watching her do that skill 
just seemed like she was very technically off. Where she faltered were on these very tricky full spins. Release right here. Nicely done. And here they are coming up. She can do them beautifully. Nice. One more. Wow. This is what we're accustomed to seeing. Little hop on the landing, but what an improvement. She actually did say after the competition that she was very disappointed in herself. She made that one error, and then she com said it completely got in her head, couldn't get back on track, fell again on it. She says, I'm one of the veterans of this group. That should not happen. And when the, when the Chinese gymnasts hit, they are just so great on this event. I mean, I remember watching video after video trying to learn the technique of this very skill right there. Really hard to pull off. A lot of the Chinese have done it. You did it, Nastia, really well. And you know, and that's kind of why I say I, I, I believe that it was more of a technical error yeah. than nerves because that skill, if you're just a little bit off one day, you could do five or six in a row the same exact way. And I've done that before <laughs> in training and it's not fun. We'll see Liu defend her title on balance beam tomorrow. She made it to the beam final, uneven bars and the all around. We will not see Simone Biles capture world medal number 24 Today, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. She is off the podium here. She actually qualified to the all-around finals, but they did not have her go. Yep. She was replaced, and that replacement athlete won the silver. Yes. You know, and, and normally, you see her score right there. Normally, you're only really allowed to do that if you're injured. So this is, yeah. It's, it's Perhaps it was a leg injury. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. She has one element in a routine, the third full pirouette. She adds a half turn to it. The Chinese do this all the time, and it is such a huge deduction. Becky Downey going to capture the second medal for the Downey family today. Down to the final two, and she's the leader. Speaking about some family medals. <laughs> Daria Spiridonova from Russia, the 21-year-old, ready. Qualified second. Some athletes have upped their difficulty in these finals. She said she's going to do the exact same routine, just try to do it a little bit more beautifully. Gorgeous connection right there. It's again looking for those hand hands, just a tad bit short on that one. Very nice release. Another good handstand. And that was great. That's hard to do, it's risky. Little low on that last one. Oh, boy. Uh, and that step. Uh, so on the women's side, if you step more than a meter apart, it is three tenths of a point. And I don't got my ruler out, but I would <laughs> have to say that that looked like more than a meter to me. Didn't bring the ruler today? Not today. No. That one right there, a little bit short. But again, in, in real time, sometimes it happens a little bit more quickly that you can't quite tell how low she finished. That ca cast handstand, though, was low. Beautiful pike front, though. It's called a Jaeger. Really nicely done. Gonna be thinking about that step, though. We need a shot of Nikita. He says he can hardly watch. It's much harder for him to watch Daria than to do his own gymnastics. I... <laughs> Any parent 
knows that. She Absolutely. said the same exact thing. She yes. said, I'd actually go rather put my grips on than have to watch him. I'm so nervous. Uh, picture from the wedding, December 19th. Yeah, I followed it on social media. It looked like it was quite a party. 14-6-3-3, so into fifth place. And Becky Downey continues to sit in that area. Wow. As we are down to the final gymnast. And it is a big name. The reigning world champ on uneven bars and the number one qualifier, Nina Derweil from Belgium. Nicely done. She'll start her combinations. Really good. Another one back down to the low and then right back up again. This is power packed. Beautiful. Just got a stick. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Saved the best for last. They did. Uh, I, if they don't give this the gold medal position, I don't know what they're thinking. That was uber difficult, really well executed, and sticking the landing. And that's a different face we haven't seen yes. her have. Yes. Had they're going to have, if Nina did the same level of difficulty, her and Becky will have the exact same level here in this final, so it will come down to the execution. Just release after release, all done in combination. You know, and if I'm being just a little picky, because don't get me wrong, this is phenomenal, but you see those flex toes just a little bit on those release moves. But this routine just so difficult. And what a prize for Belgium as a country, not a powerhouse. I had a roommate from there. He said it is unbelievable that our country could produce a world champion. How about a double world champion? Might have done it once again. And and how about Suni Lee, who sits in second place and is guaranteed that medal, going to make it to the podium. First trip to the world championships. So. They wait for the number. It was 15.141 in qualifying, and that would win it. I would say it's going to be bigger than that. Just a little, but bigger. And they torture us some more with a replay. <laughs> <laughs> this sealed the deal right here. The combination into the dismount. I believe she took a small hop in qualifying. Nothing there. Come on. Crowd wants it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Even higher. 15.233. Nina Derweil has gone back to back on uneven bars at the World Championships. Very well deserved. Abs they got it right. Here. Absolutely. But what, an, what a great accomplishment for Becky as well, has worked so hard on this uneven bar routine to be in the position that she is in, especially right before Tokyo, looking ahead now. And then Suni Lee, you know, she really struggled in the all-around. It was devastating for her. She hangs on to that third-place spot. Another tremendous final. Double medal day for the Downey family. Ellie first, and then Becky on uneven bars, and Suni e. Lee, yep, gonna make it up to that podium with a bronze medal at the World Championships. Imagine, feel... Terry, another day, another gold medal for Simone at these World Championships. Your smile looked particularly big out there on vault. How do you compare the thrill of these medals here, 23 now total world medals, with the first ones you won back in 2013? Oh, goodness. I feel like it's a different feeling because I was a rookie, so it feels surreal, and now I feel like 
I am in these finals because I belong here and I've proved it, but it's always exciting, especially to medal for your country. So as I said, 23 world medals, that ties Vitaly Sherbo's record for the most world medals by a man or a woman ever. You've got two more chances to break that tomorrow. Where is your head on all of that? I can see it in your eyes, but where is your head on all that? No, it's crazy, but just to go in feeling confident and consistent, and I think um, we've done a great job preparing for this world championship, so I think the finals will go good. Could you have ever, ever in your life as a kid when you were out there imagined this kind of success? No, I mean, just growing up, I wanted to do gymnastics for fun and look where it led me, so hopefully we'll see where the rest of my career takes me. Working harder than anybody out here in competing every single day in Stuttgart. Is the challenge now with one day left more mental or more physical? I think it's a little bit of both, just because you only have less than 24 hours to recuperate for the next day. So you kind of have to regroup mentally and physically, but um, definitely mentally just staying calm and keeping focused. And last question. I don't know if you feel the pressure from your father, but he knows he gets a kiss from your mom every time that you hit a routine. And uh, do you feel that pressure being having to be Cupid out there as well? No, not necessarily. Um, if I stay in bounds, I think that's what makes him the happiest. So fingers crossed that I can make him happy on floor tomorrow. All right, congratulations. Thanks. Terry. All right, Andrea, thanks. And the last gymnast besides Simone to make all four event finals at the World Championships, Ali Mustafina from Russia back in 2010. Prior to that, Svetlana Horkinem back in 1997. So it's not something you see all the time, but she's making it uh, commonplace.